But first at five, a man is dead in Attleboro after police say he was stabbed and killed by his older brother. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kayla Fish. Our Alex Torres Perez joins us live now with the latest on the investigation and what neighbors had to say. Alex. Well, Kim and our Kayla and my people in the area were shocked to wake up to police lights and officers in their neighborhood, but they were more surprised to find out that someone was killed. I was totally, I was totally surprised. It was a shock. Deborah Squawker has lived at Oak Hill Mobile Home Park for eight years and was shocked after her neighbor told her of a murder in their neighborhood. Like I said, everybody's going crazy now. Nothing, you, you're not safe anywhere anymore. For hours, police were out on Melissa Drive investigating after getting a call of a domestic disturbance at 3.30 in the morning. When they arrived, they found a man in the front yard with multiple stab wounds. Richard McCormick was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead half an hour later. What led to the stabbing is still unclear. Investigators spent more than eight hours scouring the scene, collecting evidence to try to put the pieces together. No, nobody heard anything. I saw anything. Officers arrested the victim's older brother, James McCormick. He's now facing several charges, including assault with intent to murder. Neighbors say they're glad someone is in custody, but they still want answers. I feel sorry for whoever passed to, like, to die. You know, my, my condolences to the family and stuff like that. And hopefully they'll find out the reason this happened. And hopefully this never happens again. A motive is still unclear as this is a very active investigation at this time. The suspect is expected to appear in court tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Attleboro, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. First at six, an active investigation is underway after the Bristol County DA says a man stabbed and killed his younger brother. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kayla Fish. It all happened early this morning on Melissa Drive in Attleboro. Our Alex Torres Perez joins us live now at the scene with what we know right now. Alex. Kayla, Mike, after hours of investigating, the scene is now clear and Melissa Drive is now quiet, which is how everyone I spoke with really described this neighborhood. It's also uh, why they were especially taken aback by this morning's deadly stabbing, especially after learning that the victim's brother is in custody. You never hear any any trouble or, or any instances of this before, so I was uh, shocked and surprised. A man stabbed to death in the Bristol County DA believes his older brother is to blame. Now investigators are trying to put the pieces together to find out why. It's very quiet, yeah. It's never any trouble, so I... Strange that it's on my street, though. Christine Erickson has lived at the Oak Hill Mobile Home Park for four years. She says the rules are strict to avoid any problems. Any trouble at all, you get kicked out. That's why she and other neighbors weren't sure what to think when they saw police tape blocking off Melissa Drive. We've seen police come by and stuff like that, but nothing like something like this. Not at all. It's crazy. It's, it's really crazy. For more than eight hours, investigators searched through homes and vehicles, laying out markers and collecting evidence. That's after receiving a call of a domestic disturbance just before 3.30 this morning. Officers arrived to find 47-year-old Richard McCormick in the front lawn with several stab wounds. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. His older brother, James McCormick, is in custody facing several charges, including assault with intent to murder. It wasn't right that um, something like this would happen. Neighbors now spending their Memorial Day thinking of the victim's family, hoping police can get some answers. Hopefully they'll find out the reason what happened there. Now the motive is still unknown at this time as this is still a very active investigation. The suspect is expected to face a judge tomorrow. Reporting live in Attleboro, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.